What is going on, everybody? I am back today to talk about a new release horror film that just came out on VOD. And I wanted to check this out for a couple of reasons. And the first one is that Damien Leone, the creator of the Terrifier franchise, did the practical effects in this movie. And I think he is one of the best practical effects artists working right now. The practical effects in the Terrifier films are incredible. There's so much attention to detail in them. And they just look really gnarly and gross. And I think that when it comes to horror, that's the type of person that you want at the helm doing your practical effects. And so knowing that he was involved in this movie, I really wanted to check it out. And there are a ton of amazing horror actors and actresses as far as like the face of a franchise or just great character actors. And I thought that it was really cool to see a director pull together an ensemble cast of so many amazing horror icons and put them all into one place. And so because of those things, I really wanted to check this movie out and the film I'm going to be telling you about today is Stream. Stream is directed by Michael Levy. As the Keenans try to bring, bring their family closer together, they unwittingly enter themselves into a game of life or death. With four deranged killers patrolling the halls of their hotel and competing for the most creative kills, the odds are definitely stacked against them. So as I said, I was looking forward to watching this movie because of Damien Leone, because of the incredible cast, and this movie is horrible. This is one of the worst movies that I have seen all year long. It was so poorly put together. The acting was absolutely terrible. The story structure is horrendous. This movie is almost two hours long and it feels way too bloated for no reason in particular. And it was just kind of a miserable watch. There are some really cool practical effects in this movie and some creative kills, but there's just nothing to hold on to to make this movie worth viewing. And I'm going to talk about it when I break the film down as a whole. So at the beginning, of the film we are introduced to the Keenan family which is a husband and wife their teenage daughter and their young son the mom is played by Danielle Harris who a lot of people will know from Halloween 4 and 5 and the family at the beginning is a pretty traditional family we have a young son who likes to spend all his time streaming and gaming he's very technologically intelligent but his parents want him to be more involved and, and a part of the family and he just wants to spend his time gaming their teenage daughter is very much a teenager she's rebellious she wants to be on her own and so because of that the parents want to do something to bring the family together so they decide to go on this trip where they're going to stay at this hotel and the father is going to surprise them with these tickets to this amusement park that they went to a ton when they were younger and he's all excited about it and they drive to this hotel and when they get there and check in things are a little bit weird they say that there's no Wi-Fi in the hotel. They can't take credit cards. They're only going to accept cash. And the person we're introduced to is Mr. Lockwood, played by the great Jeffrey Combs, who has been in a ton of horror films throughout his career. My personal favorite would be Reanimator. And he is the one managing the hotel. And there's something seemingly off about him early on. And so the family goes into the hotel room. They end up coming out, spending some time in the lobby, where the young daughter meets these guys that are there from France who are into the same kind of music that she's into and so she, so she starts to spend some time with them in the hotel and we're introduced to all these different cast of characters in this hotel well shortly after that we start to see hotel employees getting killed off by these people in different masks and we find out an hour into the movie that there is a contest going on that is being live streamed in the hotel where people have to fight for their survival and these people are trying to show off on camera who can can do the best kills and the entire film is this family who just wanted to go on a vacation trying to survive these awful murderers so like I said this movie is terrible and I really don't have a lot of positives to say I will say some of the horror actors that you know and love that are in this movie they do the best that they can with how awful this script is Jeffrey Combs is just a one-of-a-kind talent and I've loved him through his entire career and he brings a lot of charisma and personality to this character despite the character feeling relatively flat he does everything that he can and I think that he is phenomenal in this Danielle Harris even though she doesn't have a ton of screen time in the movie is probably one of the best parts of of the film just every time she's on screen she's really giving it a hundred percent and you have like Felissa Rose shows up in this for a brief period of time she's always great I've loved her throughout her career David Howard Thornton who plays Art the Clown in the Terrifier series is one of the guys who is in the contest and he's just playing Art the Clown with a different mask he doesn't speak he's just it's his movements you, you it could just be the same character so anytime he's on screen it's awesome because he's awesome I really love him I think he's a very talented actor 
And so the performances from all those icons are fine, but the people who we spend the most time with are awful. They're just, they're just phoning it in. I said it in my letterbox review. This legitimately feels like if the Disney Channel decided we want to make something for adults and we're going to make a slasher movie. Like the dialogue does not feel like human beings. It feels like people reading off of a piece of paper. It's hokey beyond belief. You can tell it's written by older people that do not understand teen teenagers because not only just the musical choices but the way they talk about adults and just life in general it feels like the way a 40 year old would perceive how a 15 or 16 year old is supposed to feel and it's just really bonkers i hate when that happens in movies and that's not to say that adults can't write teenage stories but like talk to some real teenagers talk to some people who understand what life is like for them now not 30 years ago it's very interesting to me whenever that happens in movies and it was it was difficult to try and enjoy because of that the practical effects are great it's damien leone there are some really cool kills in this movie one in particular involving tic-tac-toe that i really appreciated but like i have to care about something and that's the issue that i had with the first terrifier movie the first terrifier movie is so bare bones and damien leone really wanted a vehicle to showcase practical effects and art the clown at that time wasn't as established he did have some personality but i hated all the characters in that movie and it just fell so flat and then in terrifier 2 he's like i'm gonna write a real story and bring in really great characters and that's what makes that movie so great is there's amazing practical effects but there's also some great characters and lauren lavera is an incredible actress this movie doesn't have any of that it's like all the horror icons that are in this don't have enough screen time to really matter so you get these other actors that just aren't as good and this thing is two hours long and it should have been an hour hour and 20 minutes you do not get into the plot of the movie until like an hour and 15 minutes and there's so many meandering scenes that just don't go anywhere that are like forced drama that just feels like something on the disney channel very inauthentic very unrealistic which makes the jarring jump into extreme violence feel really awkward it's like it, if the tone matched throughout the entirety of the film it might work but because it feels Feels like a very different movie jumping into a very violent very grotesque horror film it just makes no sense you're just left scratching your head at like okay who thought that this jarring jump in tone was going to work and and once the reveal happens as to what's going on and who's involved with it there's no shock or suspense and they try to throw some things at you at the end of the movie by introducing more horror icons and looking like they want to establish a sequel which i don't see there being any world where a sequel to this movie gets made because of how bad this one is i don't think i could bring myself to watch a sequel to this movie and it's really disappointing because like i said there are so many incredibly talented actors and actresses in this film but it's nothing more than a vehicle to showcase practical effects there's nothing going on here as far as plot goes the characters are uninteresting and even if you're not going to have a great plot at least have characters that are engaging to watch like this it's just mass killers murdering people there's not really any personality outside of david howard thornton's character who has personality because he He's amazing and he could he could literally be in a cardboard box suit and somehow bring personality to it and i was just really disappointed in this because of a lot of hype that i'd heard around it and i don't think i'd ever watch this movie again so have you seen stream did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought i thought this movie was terrible i hated it and i would never watch it again as always if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for i'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future and as always everyone thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.